Only on nine, we're hearing from a CMS substitute teacher who says two students attacked her in the classroom. She jumped behind me and was choking me back here, pulling me on my neck and pulling out my hair. Well, this happened Wednesday at Turning Point Academy. That's off Morris Chapel Road. Also, it's located in West Charlotte. Only Channel 9's Jonathan Lowe spoke to that teacher tonight. And Jonathan, Turning Point's mission is to help students fix behavioral issues. That's absolutely right, Scott. Turning Point Academy is the Charlotte Mecklenburg School District's alternative school where students are assigned when they are removed from the tra traditional school setting. Well, that substitute teacher told me she no longer believes it's fulfilling its mission of redirecting student behavior. Renata Horton says she was simply requiring students follow the rules. So they already know if Horton back there, which is me, Horton ain't finna let all that stuff slide and get away. You see what I'm saying? She says she never imagined when she started substitute teaching at CMS Alternative High School Turning Point this past December that it would lead to injuries to her head, neck, and hand. Somebody need to get about their bed and shut that school down. Some ask. They're going to let somebody sneak a gun in their necks. Wednesday, Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools confirmed two students attacked her. Horton says they were 16 and 17 year olds. I said, you know what? You need to take off your hoodie, okay, off your head, because this policy. You're not supposed to have hoodies on. You don't supposed to have hoodies on. She says a behavior modification technician, someone trained in managing student behavior, was also in the room. The BMT jumped up in my face and said, hold up, Miss Horton. Yeah, everybody, you know, everybody, and you know, and everybody else know that she walks around with her hood on all the time. With no warning, that's when Horton says one of the girls charged towards her. She says the other girl came from behind and pulled her to the ground. And when she knocked me down, that's when the other one got her, uh, her hands on me and she jumped behind me and was choking me back here, pulling me on my neck and pulling out my hair. And that's when they went to start beating me. The 57 year old woman who recently got a knee replacement describes being punched and kicked and her hair getting pulled all while she says the BMT associate was in the room. I, I had a hard time trying to get myself up out of that position as tall as I am with all them kids around me like that to try to get up and pull up on anything. Where was that man, the BMT? Where was he? Could you see? Do you know? Could not see him nowhere. Didn't hear him, didn't see him nowhere. She says another BMT from another part of campus ran to her rescue and forced the girls off of her. And then this other student that hangs out with them said, now you can pick up one of your locks that they pulled out because you just got your beat by two students. Horton says no one offered to call medic or take her to the hospital. Her daughter Vaughn rushed to campus and took her. I'm hurt that I didn't have holler no support because I've been nothing but good to turn the point. I don't call out, I'm a sub. And anytime them kids ask me for something to eat, I give it to them. Horton's daughter now forbids her own mother from returning to the school. Horton says she's not arguing with that. They need help, they need more support or the people who are at the schools that's in these roles, they need better training. And CMS confirms that both of the teenagers that were allegedly involved in this assault have been charged with assault and as, as well as disorderly conduct. Now, Renata Horton tells me currently there is no dedicated principal at Turning Point and that the assistant principal is in charge. That assault is under investigation. Meantime, I am in touch with CMS officials about safety and security issues at Turning Point, and when I get an update, I will be sure to let you know as soon as possible. Live in the studio mm -hmm. tonight, Jonathan Lowe, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. That's a terrifying story for someone trying to help those kids out. Jonathan, thank you.